far we are presenting the beautiful dist the beautiful Sun Creek district and the town Dangiga town near beautiful Dangiga. My name is Kelsey. My name is Kelsey Mr. Saban. Kimani. Mr. Joseph. Okay. Yeah, okay. More. First question. How is the crime situation affecting you in your area? Well, in our area, we don't have, let's say, much crime. I'm great. Don't tell them. Keep going. Um, the we usually have three type property crimes like steal a bike, but next year I get back a new one, so it don't really matter. Um, sexual exploitation, <coughs> meaning old man, they yeah. chase after young girls and. Giving this money and like bread and with money, with money and stuff. Yeah, it's a pension. Drug abuse. They have like a good amount of people like they use too. weed and like drink My and just they have crazy on the street. Especially the youth, you know, the young people like under the age of eighteen. Fight like after dance, like the night when they go to the club and come back. They usually have fight, big not big fight. They just. You gotta tap something and do it. I don't use it. Um, <laughs> What can you do to alleviate the crime situation in your district? We think more jobs to offer to the youth would help to alleviate the crime situation because if young people have something to do, they don't have time to idle themselves and look for problems or go around drinking and smoking everywhere, making everybody into that. Um, recreation activities like maybe off, um, they could have sporting activities like maybe a volleyball tournament or a basketball tournament or a softball tournament more often because it's rare that Dangurga do have it and when they do have it like I mean they only a certain amount of people you know and not the youth not they're not really involved and a curfew for minors meaning like get minors off the street like at nine o'clock in the night so that you could avoid all those disruptions and all those making noise and them consuming drugs and stuff like that and frequent and proper police patrols and searches because the police in Nangriga they don't really walk around as much as the one in Belize City or anywhere else they're usually in the station and if something happens they don't really respond as quickly as they should and we actually need more um, trucks because they'll have like two or one truck there and mm -hmm. that's the girl in the whole uh, town and you hear it every way, sometimes you break them third, third question what recommendation do you have to give the youth department to alleviate crime? Um, we think that recreational centers and activities again would help to alleviate crime because if you have somewhere to hang out and do fun stuff that won't let your mind stray or do positive things, you have more to offer to your community. And we think that um, our leaders should be more informative and direct to the community because usually when we get information it's by gossip or hearsay. If they would come to the public and have um, annual or monthly public announcements to inform the public about what is happening in the tongue, then I think we would do much better as a community. Thank you very much. Um, any questions? One more thing, right? As you could notice, everybody will have a job, right? But they forgot anywhere. If you go anywhere, they said I have no job. Well, if you notice so, the Chinese man they come in, make millions of dollars off for him. Because a man are only like a Jessica attitude on half about the place and no one employ on herself. Like a Jessica. Right? Also, well, this is a part of the situation, right? But then, you could say they have many criminals, and the government, they fear criminals to make them behave themselves. Well, 
I don't against that uh, because they have to pay nobody for being a sir. Same money that they use to pay the gang members there. Uh, they, they, they could get a job. And the school. They could use up the schools after uh, us. Get, uh, capture all the gang members there. Uh, and put them to work. And put them to work. Uh, get them like a priest come talk to them. Because. See what's in this man? Because I know. They could recruit like a six hundred for the compass or something. And I said, no, the borders need help, right? <laughs> we have men. No men. I know it's all done, but at the end of the day, believe that all are we, right? That's true. That's all need to think it. Right now, all on the borders need um, security right now. They could get all the gang members that put the out that the purpose of that give the same, give the same money right out there, so. Build a bundle like two. We don't need, <laughs> we don't need for the fear then, there. Why my mother work hard? Why your mother work hard? Why my mother work hard? And they could pass it up.